What's up, bros? Welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I'm Steve Zergo. We're going to give you a bunch of like space news and stuff. That's <laughs> right, bro. Yeah. Just chill. The debate over whether there is water on Mars is only riveting if you're into space or if water is in any way important to you. Scientists have gone back and forth on the presence and quantity of H2O on the red planet since the late 1800s, when it was believed that there were canals flowing with water. But then, scientists were only able to find a tiny bit of surface water. Then, in the 70s, they found some dried up canals suggesting water once flowed on Mars. And in 2003, the Mars Odyssey found some minute quantities of surface water. But a new article published in the journal Geology has presented a new caveat to this epic Debate. Mars is a freaking water balloon, okay? Well, okay, th that's maybe an overstatement, but it's still got an interior with huge reservoirs of water. Study author Eric Howery stated, there has been substantial evidence for the presence of liquid water at the Martian surface for some time. So it's been puzzling why previous estimates for the planet's interior have been so dry. This new research makes sense. And how did they conduct this new research? Did they go to Mars? No, that's ridiculous. Probably would have heard about that anyway. Instead, they studied meteorites we've had for a while. One is a meteorite from Mars that crashed onto our planet in 18 1965 and another one from 1994. They looked at the tiny amounts of water trapped inside the crystals using some crazy ion technology. And from that, they deduced that Mars has 70 to 300 parts per million of water, which is very similar to our own mantle here on Earth. And on August 5th, which is right around the corner, Elliot, NASA's Mars Curiosity rover will land on Mars, hopefully, if it doesn't crash and burn instead, because apparently this landing will be the craziest landing in the history of the world, like ever. Like ever. NASA engineers are calling it the seven minutes of terror. I was in seven minutes of terror at a party once. They put me in a closet with a girl, and it was seven minutes of terror, because they told me to make out with her, but she thought it was gross, and I was like, you know what? One day, I'm gonna be awesome. So we're gonna talk about space. First, the rockets of the aeroshell steer the thing toward the right angle. A long supersonic parachute opens, slowing the thing from 1,000 miles to 200 miles an hour. This parachute only weighs 100 pounds. Then the heat shield pops off, exposing a radar. Then these rockets fire up a pivot in time to not fly back up into the parachute, slowing down the horizontal velocity. And then the sky crane lowers the rover down using cords so that no dangerous dust clouds are formed by the rockets. And if any of those steps go wrong, the whole landing is botched. And why is it that they're going through this insane landing? Why not just use the bouncing ball where they cover the rover in these giant balloons and then let the thing just bounce around Mars' surface until it comes to a safe landing? Because unlike other rovers, this bad boy is the size of an SUV, Elliot. I mean, it weighs almost 2,000 pounds. That's a lot of pounds. Yeah. Man, I am so glad I'm not a NASA scientist. Dodged a flipping bullet. Am I right, Steve? Wait, you almost dodged a NASA bullet? Yeah, I'm not exactly. I mean, okay, so NASA contacted me a few months ago and they said, hey, Elliot, uh, it's NASA. We'd love for you to come by and be one of our like rocket scientists. And I was like, well, I don't know. You know, I got this other offer from SourceFed. And then it was like, NASA, SourceFed, NASA, SourceFed. So I flipped a coin, but it turns out I can't really flip a coin very well. And the coin just kind of fell off my thumb and it landed on SourceFed. So here I, here I am. Elliot, I did not know you almost worked for NASA. Yeah, a lot of things you don't know, Steve. Alright, well, so would you be a NASA scientist and why or why not? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, it helps us out a lot. If you could possibly click that like button, you could subscribe if you like seeing our faces. Also, you can go to sourcefed.com and we have this annotation to see all of our other stuff. I'm L.A. Morgan. And I'm Steve Zaragoza, and if there's water on Mars, I bet there's waves, brah.